Set 6, Best vs. Hoja on Neo Electric Circuit. Things getting pretty intense now. SKT's only one game away from winning this series. Except, up at the 2 o'clock position in purple is Best. That means at the 5 o'clock in beige is Plucky Hero Hoja. So Best is fighting for the series ending blow in this game. Hoja, on the other hand, is fighting for a chance for KT Rolster to get to an ace match. So either way, this is pretty damn epic. Now, let me get to the fun facts for this particular matchup. Uh, Neo Electric Circuit is the map, as I said. Has kind of a tied up record ZVP. So I'd say they both have kind of an equal chance uh, moving into this game. But let's look at the stats. Best has 12 wins, 7 losses this season. So, pretty good season. That guy is ridiculous. Hoja has seven wins and six losses, so a bit more tied up record. Versus Protoss is Hoja's best matchup, but you have to consider the PVZ tear that Best has been on this season. Because Best versus Zerg has always been his weakest matchup until this season. He's won, seven, he's won six of his last seven versus Zerg games in this season alone. So that's very impressive. He's definitely improved that matchup uh, quite a bit. Uh, yeah, his versus Zerg has cost him more than one OSL. So it's good that he's starting to improve. And it's also good that he got a Zerg opponent in the finals. So he's going to be able to show off his excellent PBZ again. But, as I said, versus Protoss is Hoja's best matchup. So, uh, yeah. This is going to be a good game. All the games today have been very, very, very good. I've been surprised at the high amount of quality of these games. But anyway, let's get into this a bit. Nexus coming down before the Forge. Since Best was in with an early scout, he saw that the second base was coming up. So he felt safe, knowing that the spawning pool is going to be secondary. That he could put the Nexus down first, and then work up his economy. Now he's going to throw down his Forge. And I staying in with the probe, seeing if he can pick at uh, one of the drones, take down a drone if he can. An annoying freaking probe particle beams. Get out of here! Shooting spines at him. Okay. I think uh, Best has kind of taken after Bisu's PVZ. Yeah, he's kind of adopted a bit of uh, Bisu's PVZ, including this stay in there, be as annoying as possible with the first scouting probe. It's very much a Bisu thing on a SKT. He can stay in there a long time and possibly uh, take out a, uh, a mining unit, which I hope to see happen. It's always fun when that happens, but okay, third base coming up now for Hoja. The plucky hero third base, he's already transferred over to his natural expansion with the drones, doing a fairly standard opening on this map at least. Get those quick three bases. Photon cannon at the front. Second base is up, so the probe should be transferred over pretty quickly. Let's see. Cybernetics core at the front as well. And uh, all quiet on the western front. And it's PVZ. I'm glad we finally got a PVZ, though. I was worried that that might not happen. We've seen just about every matchup so far. Almost every matchup. Uh, all three mirrors. We've had, um... Yeah, TVZ. And now we got the PVZ. All we're mi missing, really, is PVT. Uh, so, yeah, but I'm very glad we got to Protoss versus Zerg. That might be my favorite matchup these days. It always hovers between Protoss vs. Zerg and Terran vs. Zerg. I think those are basically two equally interesting matchups because they're, they evolve so much. TVZ has been evolving a lot, but I think that's starting to slow down a bit. So PVZ is starting to become more interesting again, which is what I like. Protoss have been dominating Zerg pretty much all season, and that's only just now starting to change at the end of the season. Um, Zerg players have started adapting to Protoss a bit more, uh, shutting them down with early game aggression. And so it's good that we're getting back to an equilibrium. I always hate it when one race, even though I'm a Protoss fan, I always hate it when one race dominates the others. Uh, usually it's a map issue, sometimes it's a map issue. Obviously, they changed a lot of maps this season to Neo versions, including this one, Neo Electric Circuit. So they've changed things in Neo to 
get the races back on equal footing. But yeah, never like to see one race dominating, no matter which race it is. I know a lot of people were complaining a couple of OSLs back about the Zerg players dominating. And now look what happens. You had to complain, didn't you? Zerg players are doing horrible now. Well, not at this exact moment. They're starting to, starting to make a bit of a resurgence, which is good since the OSL is uh, coming up soon. It's nice, it would be nice to see all the races on equal footing. Anyway, so there's the fourth hatchery uh, coming up for Plakihiro Hoja, second cannon at the front four best. Now, a lot of Protoss players lately had, have been lacking in cannons and dying to Hydralis Bust. That's been probably the number one killer in ZVP as of late, is a Hydralis Bust. So it's good to get, keep investing in cannons. It is worth it. Getting that extra gateway a little bit faster is not going to help you much when you have tons and tons of Hydralis bearing down on your natural expansion like that. And okay, Temple Archives on the way, teching up all the way. Cannon inside the main just in case as well. Four best is possibly preparing for mutas, I guess? Interesting. So another couple of hatcheries on the way for Hoja. I think he's going to have quite a few Hydras out in the middle of the map soon building tons of hatcheries, getting himself prepared, and there's the Scourge just to get the scout. Always good to pump those uh, Scourge early and get the scouting information with them, lots and lots of scouting information, and possibly take out a Corsair, he's got close to doing it there, hovering around Stargate a bit, and Best is trying to draw the Scourge, a, a bit, little bit of Miss Micro from him, he was definitely within range of splashing those Scourge, but looks like he was a bit too afraid, trying to get back to the cannon as quickly as it can. Another couple of cannons at the front just in case, but the Hydralists are not pushing the front yet. Another evolution chamber, well the first evolution chamber, coming up for Hoja at his natural expansion, and he's expanding down to the 6 o'clock position at the same time. Gonna start moving out with those Hydras a bit soon, but Best should be okay at his natural. I think he might have actually overcommitted to cannons a bit. He had four the last time I looked at his natural expansion. He's trying to play it safe. Probably one more than he needed, but he will be safe for the time being. Hoja's moving up toward the natural expansion. So if Hoja does try to break, he's going to find it. Uh, he's going to find this attack very unsuccessful uh, with the amount of cannons that Best has warped in. I don't see uh, Hoja coming in to the natural expansion anytime soon. A fifth cannon, in fact, is being um, warped in at the natural expansion as well. So, you know, Best is completely safe as far as Hydralis busts go. He's flying around with his Corsairs, trying to check additional scouting and looking for Overlords as well. Queen's Nest! Oh, Queen's Nest! From Hoja going straight into high for whatever the hell reason. This should be fun. And so Hydra is moving up, and this could be a drop strategy or something from Hoja. He's kind of gripping over there with his overlords uh, next to the temple, uh, close to this other side of the main. So he's definitely up to something. Hoja is well known for his wacky ass strategies. He always goes for something insane. Yeah, he first made a big name for himself with the Burrowed Zergling build on the map Destination. He's, it was genius what he came up with, uh, to burrow the Zerglings right next to a small mineral patch, and then he'd bring all the Zerglings up at the same time, meaning some would glitch their way through. And that would usually be enough versus a Protoss player to cause a lot of damage. But now the Lurkers are going to take out this map artifact. Luckily, Best does have... A, a pylon there, so he's going to be able to... Yeah, he definitely sees this now. He's moving up a bit with his zealots, probably cause, just because he saw the eggs earlier with the pylon. But now he knows what's happening. He's going to try to build some cannons to protect against this. The number one thing would be the detection. As long as he has some means of detection uh, up behind his main, he should be okay. Going back there with a few zealots. Okay, the Lurkers are going to take this out. They got it to mid-health, just about mid-health. And Best should be prepared for this. He's going to have probably two cannons by the time the Lurkers break through and push their way up uh, behind that main. 